Today, I'm charging my electronic devices, more so my phones, using a MacBook USB-C, MacBook Pro USB-C power adapter. This is, I think, around 90 watts. But when you attach it, this is an iPhone XS Max. When you attach it, it only draws as much electricity as it needs to use. So right now, it's only drawing about 9 watts. And so, we can unplug this. And instead, plug USB-C to my Android phone over here. Just plug this in. It's a Pixel 3 XL, and you can see it's getting 8 watts. So, to answer your question, in theory, you can use your laptop adapter. In this case, I'm using a MacBook Pro adapter to charge my phone. It is excessive. It's a 90 watt power adapter. But the good thing is the phone will only draw as much electricity as it needs to power and charge the phone. So the good thing is it's not going to, in theory, it shouldn't overload the phone. It's only, it only takes as much electricity as it needs. And this power adapter here can definitely supply the electricity needed to charge and power the phones. So I'm not sure if this answers anyone's questions, but in theory, you can use a laptop adapter, USB-C laptop adapter to charge your phone in theory, which I'm doing now. And the reasoning is the phone will only draw as much electricity as it needs from the power adapter. And I'm using a MacBook Pro 2021 power adapter, 90 watt power adapter.